Baby, here's your daily reminder to drink some water, unclench your jaw, and find a reason to smile. I love you, and I'm proud of you. Hey, girl. Oh, my beautiful Scorpio, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Scorpio. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly horoscope reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments, right? As well, if you do enjoy this reading, Scorpio, or you just enjoy my vibe, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my horoscope channel a lot. How many times can I say horoscope? Uh, <laughs> and I always am super appreciative when you guys do that for me. So also remember, before we get into this horoscope reading, weekly horoscope reading, oh my god, okay, let me not. <laughs> Uh, remember to use your intuition, Scorpio, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe when it comes to my weekly readings, they're just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week, but never making a choice in your life. So remember that as you receive this reading today, Scorpio. So... With all that being said, honey, let's just get into your weekly reading with a quick last shuffle, Scorpio. And then I just, y'all can't see it, but I just had a bunch of cards just fall off on the table. So I guess I'm not using that deck. So let's see what's going on for you, Scorpio. I'm pulling some cards just so I can get an idea of where it is you guys are at in your current journey. So well, let's break this down. You have the balance card, Archangels at Keel. Number 14 equaling to five for numerology. So write down the number five. Also, if you're open to working with Archangel Scorpio, Archangel at Keel is reaching out to you, right? We also have the two of earth or the two of pentacles, the ace of earth or pentacles. And then we have the world card, Archangel Michael, number three for numerology. Write that number down. Feel like then your number would equate to actually number eight in total if you go, were to go to old school numerology. So uh, take that as you will. Uh, yeah, same thing. The, our, uh, Archangel Michael's reaching out to you. Should you be open to it, Scorpio? So let's see how this story wants to be told. Feel like we need to start right here yeah mm, switch these out <laughs> it's like a puzzle to me scorpio so i feel like i say it every time too so we're going to start out with this two of pentacles card for you scorpio this card says too much going on at uh too much going on at once they need to make a decision and considering a playful approach so really right off the bat scorpio this is a message for you guys of um juggling a lot and just looking at your cards it seems to be something that you're getting out of i really do feel like you're in this place of you know even as you as you're receiving this reading scorpio you probably are in this process of really spreading yourself thin in some objective but i see you coming out of this i uh, kind of get this impression i mean we'll see with these uh clarifying cards scorpio but i do get this impression that you i just keep hearing sense of direction like i feel like you're uh getting closer to where it is you want to direct yourself and so the cars just came flying out scorpio these clarifiers so let me just start seeing how these want to be put right here i feel like this one right here this one and then this one all right so the clarifiers that came out scorpio uh we have the four of swords with the knight of sword not not the knight the page of swords i don't have my glasses <laughs> we have the world card in the reverse for you as well as the ace of wands this actually the ace of wands actually came flying out for you uh scorpio so i feel like this is really how you break out of that two of pentacles energy of where you are really managing a lot but not getting a lot done in some senses in some well i don't want to say you're not getting a lot done scorpio but i just feel like there could be more um growth right maybe you're getting like your chores your day-to-day -day done but now 
I feel like there's just more direction, I feel like, for you. I really do feel that way. Because with the Ace of Wands, Scorpio, this is a card of just going straight forward, like grabbing the torch and just going forward, right? With extreme motivation. How does this happen, though? Like, I feel like we need to get into a little bit of the backstory first, though. I feel like we need to get into this world card in the reverse. Because this is, because you have the world card coming up in your main course of the reading, right? So when you have this inverted, it's like, okay, well, what's going on here? With you guys, I feel like Scorpio, there's just been this continuous cycle of where it just feels as if history repeats itself in different ways for you. Uh, maybe you start out really strong and then you start getting distracted and then, you know, you start out strong and then you just start keep piling things on. I really do just get this sense, Scorpio, to just keep your vision like focused on one thing at a time. I may have even said this for your last week's reading because it sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it, Scorpio? Um, but with some cycle, I feel like it's kind of, um, here's the thing. I know when we're talking about pentacles, a lot of people will think about like work and finances and all that. And while that's all very valid, earth energy relates to stability right and so whatever you're managing juggling it could be a sense of where it's like super motivated for work and stuff but then you're still not addressing stuff over here scorpio maybe like you're um there's like emotional stuff that you have to handle right and i feel like you are already in this process of handling it right this was like the cycle that you needed to break out of where it's like um really just having so many distractions we'll say and so, how do we, how do you manage these distractions, right? You have the Page of Swords and the Four of Swords, which is really powerful cards to be having, Scorpio, because this is letting me know uh, there's communication happening that leads to some type of healing. Um, so it lets me know that you guys are finally, Scorpio, addressing like the elephant in the room. You guys are finally having a conversation um, and opening up to things that just allow you to just have a sense of closure with something and just allows you to be at peace. It's almost like now that you're at an understanding with the situation and being like, all right, like now I know I can trust them to speak when there's a problem. Now you can just fully focus your energy onto something else, right? Now you can really claim that Ace of Wands energy, right? So because of this, right, then you get into the balance. You adopt that balance with the Archangel Zed Keel. This card says the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromising, and wait for perfect timing. I really want to say you even had this card last week, Scorpio. <laughs> so then makes it amuses me greatly in that sense. So yeah, I do feel like you guys are uh you know probably still like i'm not gonna lie in this process even this week scorpio of really having to uh work on your just like finding like the balance in everything right um i really do feel as if this is just mm, well before i run my mouth anymore let me just keep pulling these uh clarifying cards Back of the deck energy is the Knight of Swords coming in for you. A lot of Swords energy, so really heavy week of communication, Scorpio. Heavy, heavy week of communication. And I also know uh, Mercury Retrograde has just started, honey. So that's really a, an important time, truly, to be communicating uh, as clearly as possible, as detailed as possible, because this is a time where miscommunications can easily happen. So getting into the clarifying cards for your balance card, uh, Scorpio, we have the King of Swords, the Ten of Swords, with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So yes, this is quite literally, I'm not going to go harp on this too much longer, Scorpio, just because I feel like you get the point. Um, this is confirming to me this is what has been keeping your wheels at a squeaky halt. Um, Scorpio, if you feel as if like I don't even want to say if you feel as if um, you've been at a standstill, um, because I don't feel that's the case at all. I just feel as if maybe you've had like a higher standard of where you feel like you should be at life and at this point in life, right? Maybe for some of you Scorpios, you're just like, oh man, like um, <laughs> just like a sense of frustration and always just trying to uh, figure out what it is that you can do. And the only thing that you know how what best to do for you because that's always worked for you in the past was to uh keep busy right to fill up your plate a bunch but spirit brings us forward to let you know 
uh, Scorpio, that, that the main issue was these ten of swords, right? This is the elephant in the room, those swords that were stabbed in your back, right? This is something where it's like, you have to kind of accept the fact, Scorpio, that there is some closure that needs to happen here, because I just feel as if, like, the distractions that you guys have um, is really what's going to be putting a damper on your progression. Like, if you're just like, if you have like unresolved issues with somebody, speak about it. If you have something that you want to talk about, right, with all these swords cards, there is definitely something, um, this huge push for you, Scorpio, to just be as transparent as possible because it feels like this transparency is what gives you your sense of freedom. It feels like this transparency is what really will give you this peace of mind, right? With this King of Swords. The King of Swords is the energy of someone who's very in control of their mind. They think things through and they are, they don't, they speak with confidence, right? They are able to be just extremely uh they're just very out of all of them they're just ex the king of swords is just, is just extremely zen so yeah just take that advice if you like scorpio uh card just went flying again there we go uh now we're gonna get into your world card archangel michael so this card says a job well done joy contentment and gratitude the path towards enlightenment right this is your green car green light card scorpio is confirming it's like if you do actually make it a point to bring balance into your life in all aspects, right? Not just like for your work life, not just for your emotional and family life, not just for your environment, right? All, all balance in all things, right? Even including your health, Scorpio. Once you actually start accomplishing that balance, that's when you're really going to start experiencing a lot of like, when you're starting, <laughs> use your words about that. When you start actually going down your path at the speed that you would like to be going down that path in if that makes sense so now let's get some more clarifying cards scorpio for this world more shuffle i feel so self-conscious right now scorpio i feel like i haven't like given you guys enough eye contact i know it sounds silly considering like this is just like i'm a camera but for some reason i don't know why i'm not giving eye contact for y'all as much something i noticed at the beginning <laughs> and now i'm self-conscious that i even pointed it out because maybe now y'all weren't noticing it before so let's get into this scorpio we have the high priestess card coming in for you now this card was actually in the reverse for you we'll get into this uh we have the star card for you as well as the justice card uh coming in for you so let's get this in let's get into this scorpio i really want to point out the um high priestess in the reverse for you because i really do feel as if like maybe you, you i don't feel like you're necessarily ignoring your intuition because that's i feel like how a lot of you guys uh go throughout your life and that's how you've been able to survive it has been keeping in touch with your intuition and listening to your intu intuition but honey um i do feel as if you guys have been this there's this disregarding this uh, what's the word disregardment towards if that's even a word uh <laughs> towards a specific uh pat or a specific facet of your life if that makes sense where it's just like you're very controlled very organized very clean in every other aspect besides maybe like your personal life scorpio that's where your intuition kind of just gets hazy and you start ignoring like I just feel like there's just almost like you're being chastised a little bit for this because you have the justice card and the star card. This is the spirit essentially saying where it's like you quite literally know, um, Scorpio, that if you were to obtain this balance, that you would get your wish fulfillment, right? With the star card, right? You would quite literally just like this is i'm not telling you anything that you don't already know like during this entire reading probably scorpio you probably you've just been like i know i know i know like probably you've been just like breathing just been like oh, okay right and just like you, you you know right and so this is really more so i guess a row of archangel michael chastising y'all a little bit and being like what's been taking you so long scorpio what's been the hold up in you finally accomplishing this balance because not only does the justice card represent that balance the justice card represents you actually taking action to go after this balance right so now once let's say that you did 
right? Let's say now that you start, uh, you start uh, listening to your intuition, you start listening to Archangel Michael and all this now, Scorpio, what happens, right? Now we get into this Ace of Pentacles or this Ace of Earth for you. This card says an inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, uh, important documents and contracts. So, this is uh, this is the card of like the blank check from the universe scorpio think of this card as um where you know i hand you a check and you get to write down or not me <laughs> honey not me trust the universe hands you a blank check and be like all right scorpio how much do you want right you get to write down you get to decide how much you want that amount for right this is all notice the theme of this reading scorpio has just been about letting you know that you're in control right that you are in power of like how things will pan out so it's kind of like the situation where it's like what's the hold up Right, what is the hold up for you, Scorpio? So let's get some clarifying cards for this as well. <clears throat> All right, getting these cards out. <clears throat> All right, so the clarifiers we have for your ace of earth is the four swords following you, the queen of swords, as well as the two of cups. So this is definitely, uh, you know, once you set your proper boundaries with the Queen of Swords, right? That's when the healing happens. It's almost like with this Two of Cups. Yeah, this is just straight up just speaking so closely, uh, Scorpio, towards like you get that Ace of Pentacles where things start working out more. You get this sense of confidence, right? You get this sense of like victory, very much so for some of you guys. Um, <sighs> it's almost like some of y'all's like satisfaction will be like through y'all's success that you get through whatever it is that you've been actually trying to obtain as your ace of pentacles whatever your ace of pentacles is for you that brings that stability it's almost like the sense of status like smugness that you'll get and being like huh see see what i mean and that's like helps part like somehow that is part of like the healing process for you as well scorpio where it's just like you want to show someone that you could accomplish something right two of cups lets me know probably someone closer in your life right that you want to prove this to so yeah ultimately scorpio what you can gather from this general portion of the messages is that you easily can accomplish this the power is in your hands you just have to be willing to you know finally start obtaining that balance and putting action towards truly trying to accomplish that balance Scorpio. So now we're going to start getting into y'all's love and social situations, Scorpio, as well as your financial and career this week. Let's see what's going on there. So we're going to start out with my Scorpio's uh, financial, or not financial, we're going to start with your social and love situation, Scorpio. See what's up. We have the Three of Earth, the Ten of Earth, Eight of Air, and Four of Fire. Yeah. So Scorpio, there has been this sense of, uh, it's, I do kind of see you coming out of like this sensation of a uh, situation in your life, um, or a connection in your life that, um, you really wanted to, or you still want to like work with them, collab with them, you know, connect with them, right? Just, just exchange energy, essentially, right? This eight of air or this eight of swords lets me know there was some type of limiting factor, something that's holding you back and feeling as if you couldn't, right? Um, and you feel as if you couldn't do anything with this person at that current point. But now in this situation here, I kind of see there being forward progression again. I really do see you guys progressing with a connection that was probably at a standstill for a little bit that you that was kind of out of your control a little bit different from your general reading right where it's all talking about you being in control this situation here it feels like you didn't feel like you were in control and you kind of feel as if you could do anything to uh fix the situation but i do see it kind of uh not kind of i do see the situation uh Kind of figuring itself out now and resolving itself y'all notice how i just act accidentally said kind of again after i just chastised myself you guys are it's just it's a situation of a connection that definitely is meant to be long term for you but for a while maybe there just wasn't that much communication maybe there was some distance scorpio that kept you from really being able to connect and really go through that four of wands portal 11 11 portal which is what that represents right and to continue creating more stability right 
right with this person so uh, I do see progression in that regard so now let's get into uh, my Scorpio's financial and career situation this week ace of lots of aces coming in for you ace of water or the ace of cups king of air and then the ten of air a lot of air cards for you a lot of aces a lot of airs so really just a huge mental week for you guys scorpio but coming into this situation here this is kind of similar to your general portion of the reading i'm not gonna lie scorpio where it's talking about really like your mental state in terms of manifesting and bringing stuff into your life scorpio it's directly related to getting some closure in the situation right and so that way you have a better like it just feels like situations that are taking so much of your mental or emotional energy need to be handled so that way you just, <laughs> that was a crystal don't mind me so that way you can really start exuding this ace of cups energy and start really opening up to new opportunities right scorpio so uh yeah really figure out how like get that closure honey really get that closure really address the things that are draining you of your energy so that and distracting you so that way you can put all of your energy into one singular thing um i really do want to strongly suggest you scorpios to check your last week's reading because i do know this is kind of similar in a way or uh to it in a way so um yeah scorpio i hope this reading was helpful to you on some level uh if it was be sure to give this video a like and subscribe uh let me know in the comments below how this reading was helpful to you and then also scorpio Scorpio. I do weekly readings, the weekly horoscope readings for all the zodiac signs, not just Scorpio. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, I'd really appreciate it if you were to send my videos to them and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well. But until next time, Scorpio, I love you so much.